Hi, everybody. Today, we're going to work on the ADS layout fundamental. So the class is going to include three portions. The first one is introduction to ADS architecture. The second portion, we're going to have the hands-on on layout basics. And the third one is going to do the routing with PCB via. So our class goal is to be able to draw and run an EM simulation on this module. So in order for us to draw the entire structure, we need to have a very good layout foundation skills. OK, first, let's talk about the ADS architecture. OK, so before you do anything, we want you to enable the AEL add-on called the Layout Command Line Editor. And um, so let's just do it together. So now let's start ADS. OK, let's go to Tools, App Manager, and activate the Layout Command Line Editor. And it says, are you sure you want to enable the add-on Layout Command Line Editor? You say yes. And it reminds you, the feature add-on may not be fully enabled until the next ADS session. You can say OK, and then close it. And now you need to restart ADS. OK. Now we're going to start a new workspace and I call it uh, ADS Layout Fundamental. And uh, we leave the setup layout technology immediately after creating the library. Leave that option on. So now we're going to pick Create PCB Technology. And for this number of metal layers, if you have six, leave it at four. OK? And we go next. Take the default for everything else. Finish. OK? OK. So this file is the master subject file. Not only it includes all the EM layers, OK? It also includes the non-EM layers, OK? If you need to add more layers, what you can do is that you just go here and say Add New Layers. So let's first add one metal layer called M4. And the layer process row is conductor, OK? Just say M4 is a conductor, OK? Now let's add another via layer. Let's go to add new layer. Let's go M M3 underscore M4. And uh, the process row is conductor via. And uh, for the bounding area layer, let's make it none. OK? So now we can add more subject and uh, metal layers to the subject. So I right click. At the subject layer, you can go insert a subject layer. And then now we have a two, one extra subject layer. And in between the two substrates, there is a metal layer. The metal layer, we're going to map in the M4. So we right click on it. We go map conductor layer. And uh, so now here's the M4. And if this layer name is different from what you want to have, you can come over here and change to another layer, OK? And now we're going to right click on the subject again. We say that, uh, OK, map a conductor via, because we want to bring the M3 underscore M4 in. And uh, again, if this 
layer number, layer name is different from what you want, you can come over here and change it. Okay? So now we're okay with this modification and we're going to save it. Okay, now I want to see some layer definitions. So you can click on the three dots and now you see the layer display properties. And if you click on the layers and uh, make all these layers show as alphabetic order, and you can see this M3 underscore M4 and M4, they're all coming in, okay? And so is with the layers tab, okay? Let's make them the alphabetic order again, and then you can see all these layers coming in. Okay, so what about the reference library? So you can click on Show Other Technology tab, and then here you can see Reference Library. So this ADS Layout Fundamental Lib, it actually says Reference ADS Schematic Layers. So this is only for the ADS Schematic, but what about the layout? That means the ADS Layout Fundamental Lib doesn't have any layout reference library. It's all inside here. Let's see if uh, this is the case. Okay, so let's go to the, um, the layer display properties. Okay, so you can see all these layers, right? They're all inside the ADS uh, layout fundamental. And these are just uh, for the schematic, okay? So the schematic layers usually go from 200 to 255, okay? They are reserved for schematic layers. And all the other layers, you can add the layout, okay? So now what about the units? So for the units here, and you'll see that uh, it has a mail and it has a database resolution. It's just a pickup from that PCB reference library, okay? So we actually just create a library based on that PCB library, okay? So we have our own, okay? So the last thing we want to show here is that uh, once you have the stack up here and uh, we actually need to make the layout connectivity work as well. So under this uh, layers tab here, you'll see that uh, we have uh, all these uh, bindings. Okay, so what is binding? Well, binding actually shows the connectivity. For example, if you have M2 underscore M3, this via it touch M2 and M3. So in M2 and M3, you just say the binding is M2 and M3. So cond underscore cond2, it touches the cond, M2, M3, M4, and a cond2. So we should have all these layers in cond underscore cond2. And we will see that we do have all of these layers except M4. That's because we haven't updated this uh, layer binding. We only did the editing here and we need to update this layer binding, okay? So uh, if you have a conductor layer, this one should be connected to itself. That's why all the conductor layers, the binding is their own name, okay? So now we're going to update the layer binding. We go update layer binding, and then we choose the, the tech.subst. We say okay, and it says, layer bindings will be updated in the following li libraries. ADS layout fundamentals underscore lib, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And so once I do that, you see all this M4. And uh, M3 underscore M4 all come in as well, okay? Okay, now we're going to save this uh, substrate. Okay, next. We're going to talk about uh, the difference between referencing a technology and a copy a technology, okay? So from time to time, you'll find that 
when you try to reference a library and it, you're having a hard time to do any modification, let's say you want to add some layers on top of that technology, you couldn't, right? The reason that we could do it on the ADS layout fundamental is because that's our library, okay? We, we have the power to modify it. But if you just modify another, you, you're just referencing another library, how do you modify it? Okay, here's the example, okay? So let's go file, new, library, and let's call it uh, the pen stint library. So for this one, for now, let's just uncheck choose a technology, okay? Because we're going to referencing one. So we say create library. Go to library view, so we have a dependent library. Let's check its reference library. We go options. Technology, technology setup, and we pick this dependent library. So you will see this layout unit is not defined, the resolution is not defined, the layout, uh, the library doesn't have any layout layers, okay? Yeah, because we didn't reference anything, we only have the schematic layers. So right now, what if we add the ADS layout fundamental lib as our reference library? We say, okay. And now these guys are all happy, okay? And then if you see the layout uh, units, it take mil and it take a 1,000 database. These are all coming from our reference library, which is the ADS layout fundamental lib. Okay, now we can create a layout cell out of this dependent library, okay? And let's call it same name, and you will see this library has the same layout layers as ADS uh, layout fundamental lib. Okay, now I'm going to show you another way of creating this library, but it's much, much easier. Okay, let me go file, new, library, and uh, let me call it uh, easy way to add reference library. And this time, I'm going to pick set up a layout technology immediately after creating the library. So I say create library. So I'm going to pick up the reference right here and say finish. And now if I go take a look at the technology, pick the right library, and you see it's directly referenced to this ADS layout. And under the unit, right, it's just to pick up the unit, still referencing the ADS the layout fundamental, okay? Now you're going to take a look at uh, whether this library is editable or not. And you go to the layer display properties, you'll see that it's still not editable. You see that? You still cannot make any modifications of it. So now we're going to do something so that we can modify it, okay? We're going to go File, New, Library. And this one here, we are going to call it Okay, so now we're still going to choose a uh, layout technology. But this time, instead of just to pick this reference library, we're saying copy technology into new library instead of referencing it. So what does that mean? Options, technology, technology setup. So go to this right library. Okay, and you'll see that uh, we are still don't have, we still don't have, and now you'll see, we still don't have any layout library to reference. Okay, however though, well, let's take a look at the uh, unit. Did you see that we are no longer referencing any library to use this unit or resolution? 
we have our own now, right? And now, if we take a look at the layer display properties, see all these guys, they stand out. And right now, if you want to add something, right, you can add something, but it recommends you to go back to the subject file to do the modification. That means that you are allowed to, okay? Let's call it, uh, um, okay, layer. Okay, now if you want to add one layer, okay, and so layer underscore 15, that's okay. We say okay, and now you see this the layer underscore 15, it's inside the make reference uh, library editable lib. Okay, so what if I go back to the dependent lib and uh, from here, uh, sure, and uh, from here, I want to go and uh, edit this library. So I go add property, okay? And then layer 17, that's okay. So when I go okay, and layer 17 goes into the dependent lib, okay? Goes to this lib, it doesn't go to the reference lib, okay? So you say okay. And then if you take a look at the layout here, right? That layer 17, it is in, but they are just belong to different libraries, okay? 